What's up, YouTube? I'm in a really sad mood right now because this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last one right here. I, I was trying to save them all and, you know, the, it just hurt. So this is the last of the El Cepetino Short Dream Topaz on the next Bobolito Cigar Review. Sad day for me, YouTube. It's my last damn one. The El Cepetino. Cepetino. Short Dream Topaz. It is a 4 by 60 product is from Costa Rica. I don't know nothing too much about the binder, binder filler and wrapper because they disclose those. They don't talk about them. And it's hard to find more information on, on that in general. The company started in 2005, I know. They have over 23 cigars, maybe more, with three different sizes. This is a four by 60 right here. Um, and they also, I meant to tell you that they also have 40 different types of blends. I only had seven of those types of blends. And this is sad because I, when my mind wanted me to order these, I didn't order any more. I put in my humidor, Gradually, I smoke one at a time. And I had different ones. I had the Gamish, if I've said it right. I had the New Yorker. Um, I had three, three Gamishes, one New Yorker. And there's another one. It's, a, it's another one I can't remember off the top of my head. But it, all of those cigars was phenomenal cigars. And when I say phenomenal, I mean phenomenal. No problems. Construction great. Look at the oil on this. That oil is nice. That is beautiful. This is what you call a cigar that's for art. And also, when it was when I did decide to, you know, re-up, my sales rep, Dave, which I've been trying to get a hold of him, I can't find him. I called, I sent him a text. Try to find him on Instagram. Can't find Dave. Where are you, Dave? Dave, I miss you. If you're out there and you're watching this, Dave, contact your boy Rob Lito. Also, I learned from Dave was when you have the cigar, you need to hole punch it. And I learned when I hole punch the cigar, you get a lot of flavor. You get that smoothness that you want. And I, I really don't want to smoke this, y'all. I truly don't want to smoke this. But being a vlogger, I got to share you at least one of my favorite cigars. So, let's cut. Well, already cut. It's a whole punch. Let's light. I want to light this. But I am, because I'm true to y'all. Let me dry, let me, you know, cold draw this first. Nice earth. Nice leather. Nah, I really got smoke because now my mouth been on it. Um, It's a closed front. So be careful when you lighten this cigar because you will get a leaf on your lap. I was going to use this lighter, but I'm going to use the red one since it matches with this one. So I hope everyone's been doing cool. And when you light this cigar, light around the cigar. Don't directly into it. Go around it. So you can get a full burn. Mm. 
You don't really want to torch this cigar. God, this tastes good. Already, I got earth, got leather. Got toffee. And the aroma of the cigar is phenomenal. And I just gotta say that this right here, this brand right here, even though you, you're going to pay for this cigar, it's no it's as a butt. Because this single alone is just $28. A box of 10 can go for like $250. You know, a box of 25 can go for like $700. This is not one of those cigars you just give to people. You give these to people who know how to smoke cigars. I love this, man. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna smoke this down, cause it's already up to two third anyway, if you want to compare it to the Churchill. And just reminisce. I'll get right back with y'all. Okay, I am back. And I am saying this is a phenomenal cigar I can't argue with this I'm having a little nip with this as well you know my friend right here mister and the, the combination with these two is phenomenal structure is good Scare is doing good. It can do a little bit on me, but it's going to slowly correct itself. Great cigar, man. If you can afford this, I'd rather you go get it. For the price, it is kind of expensive, but you pay for good quality. And one thing I like about the cigar is I'm getting... Good construction. You know, it can do a little bit, but it's correcting itself. I'm getting great complexity of the cigar. I'm getting earth. I'm getting some spices. I'm getting that leather. I'm getting that toffee. I'm getting some dark chocolate. I love the wrapper. I love the oiliness of the cigar. And I just dropped my ash. Finally. Let me drop right here, but it's okay. Is this Rob Lee the Worthy? Hell yeah. I think I'm going to have to buy a box of these. And also check out the Instagram at El Sepatino Cigars. Click on the link, go to their website. They have phenomenal stuff, like not just cigars, but they have ashtrays, they have a uh, humidor, they have a travel humidor that's, I say it's phenomenal. And it's color is, is great. Like they're not ashamed of using certain type of colors and everything else for the humidor, travel humidor. This company is pretty, it's a real good company. Is it worth all of this? Yeah. It's probably the worthy. I mean, yeah. It's 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 a great cigar, man. I can't I can't argue with this at all. It just it's giving me what I want. Plus with a little nip. 
just making it all better. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. Thank you for stopping by. From now on, the shows will be appearing on Tuesdays. Um, because of my work schedule, I'm only going to be able to do maybe a cigar vlog maybe once a week. So on that note, peace. As my mom would say, I'll plant you now and dig you later. Thank you.